All right, so I just want to show you real quick what this looks like before I start on my next thing. Notice that there's a couple wingers hanging up here, and what those are are ones that were too tight, and I just kind of threaded that part off of it before I tucked it. So now I'll go back and I'll get rid of those. But um, there's no sense arguing with a basket. If it's too tight, then thin it a little bit. Always better to work with the basket than to argue with it. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is I am going to put on my rim and my rim filler. So I'm going to start by thinning uh, some of my rim material. So let's see if I can bring this down so you can see what I'm going to do here. One of the best things I learned from Scott Gilbert was move your material don't move your knife and that way you'll never cut yourself so i'm going to hold my knife still and i'm going to work my material so if you've got a shave shaving horse it's a lot easier to scarf it but most of us don't so my knife never moves but i'll move my material so i want two to three inches of this thinned off because it's pretty thick and you want a nice overlap okay so, you can see how thick it was and how thin it is, okay? So, when I'm doing this, to start out, I'll use some um, big clips, and then um, I would call it um, kind of a rim sandwich. Now, I don't want that bulk by that um, handle because I'm going to have to overlap this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the outside and, and using these clips is just temporary. So I know where they go. Okay. Come around the back. That's why I have my false room there so I can go over on top of that. And then I can get a measurement up about right there. Now you notice that I've gone over the overlap or the where I've uh, scarfed it. Okay. So you should take this off again and then scarf this so you still don't have that overlap. I'm just going to put that on there for right now so I can show you how to do the inside. And I'm going to, once again, I'm going to scarf that or thin it, the uh, inside rim. For that overlap and um, you can use a knife I like to use exactos because then I have to worry about trying to sharpen a blade okay so then I'm going to start my other one on this side because you don't want the overlap of two together and just kind of move these guys around and then um, as I said, this is pretty thick material, and I did have it soak in for about, I will say, 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes in warm water before I started this process. Now, when I get here, I want that to be in that notch, okay? And the reason that you want it in that notch is because if you pull up here with that handle, if you don't have it in the notch, it's going to pull right out of the basket. It's got to be in the notch. Okay, once again, I want to go take a measurement over what I've thinned or scarfed. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, you can see this is all kind of temporary here. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to use my, um, my rim filler. And I like to use number eight or something similar, number eight run or some, something similar to it. So what I'm going to do is I've got a whole bunch of cable ties or zip ties. They look like this. Okay, and they just work super easy for what I want to say, making a rim sandwich. So I've got that number eight on top. And then I've got my two rims inside and the outside. Okay. 
So, and if you can't get those real tight, you can take a pair of needle nose pliers, just grab on that and tighten it up a little bit. Okay? You don't have to do every one of these. All you're doing is getting this ready to be lashed. So, I do like every third or fourth one. And so, if it won't come in, we'll open that up. Use that cable tie. And so then these, these big clips will go away as I come around to them. And that's the same thing with your, with your um, cable ties. As you come around to it, uh, when, with your lashing, then they go away. So the whole point in having um, this number eight up here, this rim filler, is so that all that um, edge, that kind of ratty looking edge is covered. A la the rim filler. A lot of people do it with seagrass, and that's okay too. It's just my personal preference, I think, it gives it a more of a finished look. So I use number eight. There is lots of different ways to make a basket. And it's totally up to you for what works for you. So I'm going to bring this down more in my lap so you can see what I'm doing. And like I say, it would have been better if I would have went back and thinned that uh, second part of that so you don't have that bulk, but I'm not going to because I'm going to show you what I'm doing versus you watching how I'm thinning stuff. You don't have to. You should do at least one especially with this material because, like I said, it is thick. And the reason it's thick is because when you put your harness on, you don't want it to slide off the top. Always a reason for these things. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way around. And then when I get here, I'm just going to piece that piece instead of going around the back. Some people go all the way around. I don't like to. So I'll put a piece in here and do that. Okay? And when I get to the lashing, I'll come back and talk to you.